Today's video, I'm gonna show you the best way to whiten teeth in Lightroom, even if your photo looks like this guy. Okay, so when you're retouching a portrait, one of the most common questions I get is, how can I make teeth look better? First thing you need to know, don't overdo it. Whitening teeth is one of those things that when you push it too far, you can make someone look ridiculous. General rule of portrait retouching, try not to make your subject look like an alien. So I'm gonna show you a way to do this in Lightroom that's going to be adjustable so you can go more subtle to make it look good, but it's also powerful enough to tackle some really difficult subjects. And I'll show you that one last. So this first image is something that is really common. Depending on the lighting in a room, you can have teeth that, even on subjects that have great teeth, they just look gray and dull. And that has everything to do with the lighting and nothing to do with the teeth themselves. It can even happen when you're using high-end flash gear. So this is something that you're gonna find yourself doing a lot if you shoot a lot of portraits. So let's let's jump in. So I found this image on online. It's a free stock photo, and I'm gonna put the link in the description so you can follow along if you wanna work on this photo while I do it and try these techniques. So uh, obviously this is going to be something we'll do with local adjustments. So like all local adjustments, keep in mind this is something you want to do near the end of your editing workflow. I talk a lot about editing workflow in my Lightroom course, and it's something that is greatly overlooked a lot in online tutorials and Lightroom courses. The order in which you do things is very important. It can have a major impact on your editing, how fast you can get your edits done, and the quality of the edits. So if you're interested, definitely check that out. I'll put the link in the description. So we're going to go over here to the brush tool, and we're going to click on that. And the first thing I like to do anytime I pick a local adjustment, you can see I was working on something over here and I have the exposure up. So let's double click the effect and drop everything down. So here's what I want you to do. Go down to saturation and go negative 100 and then go over to exposure and increase the exposure. Let's use the, uh, the keypad. I'm going to make that about three quarters of a stop. So 0.75 to increase the exposure. Now, I use the, uh, the left and right brackets, bracket keys to resize the brush, and I want to go down here and make sure my feathering is somewhere between 75 and 100. It's not doesn't have to be precise, and the flow we're going to keep at 100. I definitely want to make sure auto masking is on, and what auto masking is, let's increase this a little bit, that little crosshair in the middle if you keep that on your subject, it doesn't matter if the big circles go outside of the lines, it'll look for defined lines and keep your adjustments within the lines. So that's very helpful when doing teeth. Teeth are generally have sharp lines and sharp uh, borders, so auto mask works very well with them. Last thing I'm going to do is put on the overlay so we can see where we're brushing. So let's start brushing here. Now that's, you saw me toggle on the overlay, that shows the red. So that's a good way to see if you're going outside of the borders here. So you see as the little crosshairs touch each of the teeth, we're getting everything. Let's go in here, let's go in there a little bit. So it looks like we got all the teeth. Let's turn off the uh, overlay. Now, this is very bright and very white, and I think it's a little bit too much. Uh, this doesn't look really that natural to me, especially you can tell the, the lighting on the rest of the face here, it's a little, little dull. Um, so let's back off a little bit. First, I wanna back off on the, the desaturation. I'm gonna bring that about 77, 75, 77. And then I'm going to back off on the exposure a little bit. Let's go to 55. To me, that looks a lot better. Remember, we don't want to go too far, but I think we did a great job if we use the, the uh, backslash key. You can see the before and the after. Before, after. By the way, if you found this helpful, 
hit that like button and let me know you like it so I can make more videos like this. There's two, there's two parts to this. There's the desaturation and the brightness. Play with them individually. The more yellow there is in the teeth, the more you need to desaturate. And the more you have this gray darkness that happens with bad lighting, the more you need to increase the exposure. It's very, very rare that you'll ever go over one stop difference in the exposure. So keep that in mind. You don't want to make them look like an alien. Speaking of aliens, let's look at this next photo. Now, this reminds me of, I don't know if uh, I may be dating myself. Uh, did you ever see the movie Killer Clowns from Outer Space? It is a terrible, terrible movie, and it's a ton of fun to watch. So I, I, I can't say I recommend it, but um, it's, it's kind of funny. So let's jump in here. Now, if you can fix these teeth, you can fix any teeth, right? So let's take our same adjustments, negative 100 saturation, 0.75, uh, for the exposure, let's dive right in. Look at that. Now, I want to do one more thing here. There's a little bit of a yellow hue to it, so maybe we can create a little bit of uh, temperature change. That's one thing, if, if the desaturation looks unnatural, maybe don't go so hard on the desaturation and use the temperature slider, but very, very, very subtly. See, this is working great. Even these dark areas down here, cleaning it up, and the auto mask does a great job of keeping it on the teeth. There we go. Let's back off, back out of there, zoom out. Now, there's our before and there's our after. This guy has never had such clean teeth and he's ready to go terrorize your dreams even more. So, look, if you can, if this technique works on this guy, you know it works on everything. It's just a matter of dialing it back, being subtle, and making it look realistic. That's the thing with any type of editing in Lightroom or Photoshop or anything, I like to push it a little farther, get what I need to get done, and then back it off and make it look realistic. 